Can I monetize sports highlights on YouTube? Well, the short answer to that question is yes, but the long answer is a little bit more complicated than that. So keep watching if you would like to hear my experience with monetizing sports highlights on YouTube. Though I have dabbled in posting several different sports highlights, the majority of my experience is with basketball highlights, most specifically NBA highlights, and that is gonna be the basis of what I share today. So I first got into posting sports highlights on YouTube in 2015 when I started a YouTube channel called The Jimmer Watch, which was highlights of Jimmer Fredette. I enjoyed watching Jimmer in college and a few years into his professional career, I decided to start a channel posting his highlights and just see what would happen. And I didn't really see a ton of views or much traction at first, but I didn't really care. I was just doing it for fun. Fast forward a little bit and Jimmer goes over to China. It was a lot harder for people to find highlights and watch his games. So my channel started picking up some speed because I was really the only place that people could find those highlights. I still wasn't getting crazy views, like maybe five to 10K views per video until he scored 73 points in a game and that video blew up pretty much overnight. It is one of the most viewed videos on my channel. It had more than 500,000 views and I had all kinds of people reaching out to me like ESPN and stuff like that asking if I own the rights and that was pretty crazy. Now at that point, my channel was not monetized. I was only 16 at the time and I wasn't really sure if I was allowed to make money off those videos. So that was in February, 2017. Later that year, I actually moved to England and served a two year mission for my church. So I was not able to run my channel. I left it in the care of my brother and another friend of the channel. They kind of took care of things while I was gone. And then once I came back in the fall of 2019, I was ready to pick up where I left off and I decided to apply for monetization at that point. So the first time that I applied, I was actually rejected from the YouTube Partner Program, and I kind of figured that that was probably for the best. You know, I don't own the rights to the videos, whatever, it was worth a try, and then I just kind of moved on, and I kept posting the videos for fun, but I kind of gave up on my dream of getting monetized. Then, fast forward about a year, and I was bored during the pandemic and I decided to apply for monetization again. And this time I actually got accepted and I was able to monetize the videos on my channel. And in fact, a week later, Jimmer Fredette scored 70 points in a game over in China. And once again, the video blew up. It got over 300,000 views and I actually made over a thousand dollars on that video. And as far as me not owning the rights to it, in China, they actually have different copyright rules for sports broadcasts. Chinese courts do not classify sports broadcasts as something that is protected by copyright. Now, I'm not a lawyer, so don't take my word for it, but my understanding of the rule was that I was allowed to make money off that because of the rules that they have in China. And none of those videos that I've posted, highlights of Jimmer in China, have ever been copyright claimed or anything like that. I've never had any issues. However, at that point, Jimmer was over 30 years old and he was kind of coming to the end of his career. So what I ended up doing is changing the channel to cover all basketball players and renaming the channel to Enzyme Hoops. Now, this is where things start to get interesting. In the beginning of 2022, I started posting NBA highlights on my channel and things started taking off even more so than what they were doing when I was posting just Jimmer Fredette highlights. At that point, my channel had been kind of dead for a while because Jimmer wasn't playing and I hadn't really posted anything. But as soon as I started posting NBA player highlights, then my views and subscribers started increasing exponentially. So I started posting NBA highlights in about March of 2022, when my channel was at 6,000 subscribers and it had been at that number for a long time. But after just a month 
of posting NBA highlights, I gained like a thousand subscribers. And I was actually able to make money off these videos through YouTube AdSense. Basically what would happen is each time I uploaded one of these videos, it would get claimed every time, but I would actually still get paid for the views I got before the claim happened. And there's quotes of Adam Silver saying stuff about why the league doesn't crack down on highlights channels and stuff like that. So I naively thought that what I was doing was okay. I kind of thought to myself, like, this is a pretty good deal. I get to make highlights of basketball, a sport I love. I get to get paid off it. Then once the NBA claims it, then they get the rest of the revenue. And it's kind of a win-win for both parties. And it's also marketing for the NBA because people who watch my highlights are also more likely to watch a live game or a full game on TV. Well, that little pattern lasted for about a month until YouTube demonetized my channel. Now, it's important to note here that it was not the NBA that stopped this from happening. This was something that was flagged inside YouTube. YouTube flagged my channel for posting reused content and basically I was uploading like 10 videos every night and every single one of them was getting copyright claim. So it's not very surprising YouTube would see this channel that is part of their YouTube partner program that uploads like 300 videos in a row and every single one of them gets copyright claimed. You're probably gonna go check that out and I wasn't really surprised to get demonetized. Anyway, I was told that I could reapply for the partner program in 30 days if I removed all of the videos that were copyright claimed. So I did that and I reapplied. I was able to get reaccepted nice and easy. And at that point, I kind of laid low until NBA Summer League in July of 2022. Well, I didn't really learn my lesson. And once Summer League came around, I started uploading tons of highlight videos again. And at first, most of these didn't get claimed right away. So I thought, great, this is awesome. I found something that works for me, but eventually they all started getting claimed again. And in about the same time frame as last time, about a month, my channel was actually demonetized for a second time. So this was pretty discouraging for me and kind of started the beginning of the end. I reapplied a third time after removing the infringing videos and I was able to get accepted again. And this time I tried doing little things to get around it, like deleting the videos as soon as they received a copyright claim or adding voiceovers to the highlights and stuff like that. But ultimately the claims just kept coming in. I tried really hard for about a month to only post highlights with voiceovers from myself on top of them and hopefully get away with it under fair use, but every single one of those videos still got copyright claimed. And when I would dispute the claims, the dispute would get rejected. I escalated a lot of these disputes to appeals, but it became exhausting because I had to dispute and then appeal every single video on my channel that I posted in order to get paid. Also, when you appeal a claim, the person who filed the claim has the option to take down your video, which will give you a copyright strike. And if you get three copyright strikes, then your channel gets terminated, as well as any other channels that are associated with that channel. So where I was uploading like maybe four, five, six videos every day, I was putting myself at a large risk of getting my channels terminated because if the NBA just decided one day all right, we're done. We're gonna strike all six of these today. Then there's no way that I would be able to get my channel or my other channels back. They would just get terminated. So ultimately I decided to stop making those videos. I kind of gave up because first of all, I felt a little uncomfortable about making money off of something that wasn't mine. And also if it was that hard for me to make like a few dollars per video, then it probably wasn't something that I should be doing. So I just decided to call it quits and move on from that. I was also putting myself at risk of legal repercussions. 
Who knows, it probably wouldn't happen with Adam Silver as the current commissioner, but the NBA would have a very good case against me for copyright infringement if they just pull up my channel. They could sue me pretty easily and I really wouldn't have any defense. So to protect myself from that as well, I thought it was best to just cease posting those videos. And that was really hard for me to just give up and walk away because I had been posting basketball highlights for about seven years and I love it. But ultimately, it was time to walk away. And I actually could have kept posting the highlights on my channel and gotten outside sponsors. There's a lot of channels that do that. They post NBA highlights and have outside sponsors and then they make money from that instead of from AdSense. But personally, I just felt a little uncomfortable about that, a little guilty and even paranoid. And so once again, I just decided to stop. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not here to tell anybody that they shouldn't do that or that's not allowed or that I'm gonna report them or something like that's totally fine if you want to do that. It just wasn't for me. So the long answer to can I monetize sports highlights on YouTube is yes, but if you do so, you put yourself at risk of demonetization, termination, and even legal repercussions. Hopefully my experience was helpful to you. If you have any questions about what I shared, feel free to leave them down in the comments and I'd be more than happy to answer any questions you have. If this video helped you, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. I would really appreciate it and I will see you guys in the next video.